What's up, guys? This is Chris Calder with uh, Tips and Tricks for Rapid Composer, Part 1. Highlight, C to copy, place where you want to paste it, V, V, V. A to add a new track, H to fill it with chords. A to add a new track, uh, make sure you have a phrase selected, and F to fill it with that phrase. All you got to do is, um, if you want to insert a chord right here on beat 3 of a measure, and just double click you know, the, the gray chord bar, and it puts one in there, and then if you want to get rid of that, just kind of or merge chords, like for instance, like say you, you don't want this extra A minor here. Your mouse is going to turn into this arrow, double click, it's gone. Composition settings, there's two ways to get into this. Structure, brings up the structure inspector if you right click right here. Pick your key, pick your scale, your tempo, and your time signature. All right, or you can get to that same place by right-clicking the word master track and right-clicking that. If you hit the insert key, it inserts a beat. I just hit it four times. Undo, 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 undo. And if you want to insert a full bar, control insert. There we go. So it just kind of makes this a five bar piece instead of a four. And then right here, if you want to put a chord, you can. Split a phrase with the backslash key. Let's say we like only the first half of sample four. Highlight it, hit the backslash key, and there it is. We can get rid of the second piece here. Whoops. And we could just have this. And we could just repeat this phrase over and over again if we want. I did this tip in some of the other Rapid Composer videos. Um, we dropped a melody generator phrase on this track. We have a, a chords track playing uh, general MIDI sound font, Rhodes piano sound. And, you know, you drop it in. Here's the default melody generator. So we'll listen to it. Okay, and then all you got to do is leave this open and hit L, and it completely generates something new. Hit L again, another generation. So basically, L is a shortcut for regenerate and apply to selection. So it combines both in one keyboard shortcut. There's a keyboard shortcuts to fill the track with uh, generators, even if you have a different one selected in your phrase browser. So to fill the track with bass generators, all you have to do is hit the letter B, and it puts the default bass generator in there. If you want to fill it with chord generators, you do H. If you want to fill it with finger picking generators, you do N. Okay, And if you want to fill it with melody generators, you just hit M. And those are the quick shortcuts to fill your tracks with certain generator types. So we have a generic generator in, and by default, it's only one bar long. And say, I'm just going to change it to, you know, a different pattern. Say we want this to be a two-bar pattern instead of a one. All we have to do is we right-click to bring up the phrase inspector. We change the original length to eight, which will be two bars. We go in here, we play around with our settings, and we hit L for regenerate and apply to selection and it keeps the phrase eight beats long. You know, here's another generation. So it's pretty neat, it's very useful, because a lot of these generators are only one bar long or four beats long. Like the bass generator default is four beats, the chord generator is four beats, finger picking's four, generic's four. 
Easy way to zoom horizontally, uh, hold control, hover your mouse over the ruler, left click, drag. So we have a four bar composition here, and say we only want to loop, you know, bars two to, you know, two to three. So all you really got to do is just click the ruler, uh, same as most DAWs, you know, including Reaper. Click the ruler, but make sure your uh, now time, this thing right here, is away from the selection you want. Because sometimes if it's right there, you wind up dragging the now time. Just left click and drag, and then this icon will become active. And obviously you want to loop, so all you got to do is highlight those two icons. If you just want to loop this bar right here, you can do the same. Make sure that's highlighted. To get out of the loop, you could deselect these two. Or you could just click on the ruler wherever you want to start. The easiest shortcut is Shift and G on Windows. So you got your settings set for your uh, your idea tool. I have two tracks. I got melody generator on one, bass generator on two. Very simple, you know, create chord progressions in C. Shift G takes you right to the composition. Okay, and you can, and while you're in the composition, you can shift G, creates another one. Here's another one. So again, this is just Shift G after you have all your idea tool settings set. Zooming tracks vertically and scrolling tracks vertically. So by default, when you grab the track right here, it kind of zooms in vertically. Now if you click the piano, you can scroll up and down Okay, but you have to double click the piano to be able to do this again. All right? Because if you don't do that, you know, you scroll up and down like this, and then when you move this, you know, it's kind of doing the same thing, it's moving the whole thing. So double click the piano and it resets to the intelligent resizing and zooming.